Hi everyone. Give or take about 13 years ago, I made my very first Doom map pack slash Doom mod. And my standards have greatly exceeded the standards that I had back in then. Um, I do not feel comfortable releasing this particular mod or map pack now, <laughs> especially after I've released uh, Doom Zero. So, but I did put a lot of work into it. So I think it is not only salvageable, but I think I could actually make something good out of this map pack. It's only a handful of maps, so it's, don't expect anything as big as, as Doom Zero or whatever, but each map is actually much longer than your average Doom Zero map. So in a way, it is still a substantial mod. It's still a substantial uh, map pack. So let's take a look and see what we can do here. All right, maybe I should not use Chocolate Doom. I think I should use GZ Doom or just Z Doom because there's no ways this one can stay under the, under the vis plane limit. So we're going to have to put that stipulation of the limitations of what kind of source ports you can use. I originally called this Leap Gates, but can't call it that. Well, maybe I can, but I already used that name to describe map 10 in Doom Zero, but that's okay. Let's see, where is it located? Maybe it's under two? Yeah, there it is. Deep. Gates. Remix. There are going to be some missing textures. In fact, there's going to be a lot of missing textures. All right, now I'm going to have to get used to the controls again. Now, the thing that's dumb is that I literally only just started building something really ambitious because you know when I started doing this just for fun I just wanted to see how far I can push it but uh, it does result into some issues fortunately this actually this looks okay this doesn't look bad except that there's a missing texture I feel like we're gonna have to include uh, alien, alien Vendetta because I did in fact use Alien Vendetta's uh, textures so we're gonna have to copy that but I'm not using all of the textures so eventually we're gonna have to do a cleanup figure out which was which but in the meantime I think that 21 megabytes is not a big deal but I do feel like I want to combine some of these elements so maybe we should do that first let's go into Slade uh, this is actually going to be pretty difficult, mostly because I never really did a good job compiling these things together, make it all coherent and neat and logical. We're just going to need these and all the textures, but there's a lot of textures we really don't need. I'm probably going to use Doom Zero as the basis. Okay, so I better save this as something else. Need Kate's remix, LGR. <laughs> I wonder who's a anyone here that's an LGR fan? Greetings, blurbs. Okay, so here we got our new LGR. So Doom Zero is safe, and I'm not gonna destroy Doom Zero in the process. I just don't like some of these. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna modify this. So I haven't done this in years. I haven't done it like since phew, like 2019 or something. So let me see if I remember how to do this. Color remap, possibly. Okay, yeah. I think this is it. All we need to do is figure out. So this is origin range and this is target range. So if I make it black, then we can find the target. I don't think this is working. So <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely not used to it. Maybe do this. There we go, found it. I'm just going to make it the same color as the rest of the sky because there's really no elegant way of doing this. Maybe we should make it brighter. And then we'll take this color. Yeah, let's just leave it that way. Bunch of names. Get the heck out of here. Definitely want to keep that. Now we just need to copy all the maps from the gates, put it in LGR, uh, delete all those Doom Zero maps. Delete, yes. Paste. 
Okay. Yeah. These maps are a real mess. You can already tell. Back then, I just dove right into the map uh, development without understanding what middle textures were. Fleet Gates Remix. LGR. Gosh, I hope this works. We'll see what happens. It did work. Wow, look at that. Now the question is, is this going to work in GZ Doom? Game configurations, testing, definitely not. Chocolate Doom, we're going to need GZ Doom or Z Doom actually, just Z Doom. I just want to see if it's possible to work in a software renderer because I did not get it to work on a software render. I used to use GZ Doom right from day one because it was less trouble, at least back then it was. I wonder what's going to happen. Okay, I can work with this. All right, now I'm going to have to add trees. <laughs> All right, there we go. Now, is this going to work? Ah. Cool. Let's... I need to change the music. Music would be under LG, so... Ah, there's the music. Yeah, I am using the PlayStation Doom music, just because that's what I want to go with. Okay, how do I get it to stop playing? Seriously, how do I get this to stop? <sighs> Whatever, let's just do this. Copy. Seriously? Shut up, is it? Oh my gosh, this one's now playing. Ah, there we go. <laughs> now the question is, how much is this going to run without bugs and glitches and stuff? Wow. Can't believe it's working. definitely gonna need to import those trees there we go Oof. yeah you can see there's lots of little bugs here and there because GZ Doom just handles things differently to make these maps a lot less cryptic because you're supposed to look and see ah this window is different therefore I must continue in there but not still too subtle a lot of people won't be able to find that it's more like a secret so I'll come up with something else wow this game is really laggy I wonder how how bad the vis planes are. Something tells me this is going to crash as soon as I click on this. Oh my gosh, it actually is working. Holy moly. No wonder why this thing is running slow. <laughs> okay. Ooh boy. Okay, so as you can see. I didn't understand how middle walls worked, so I used lower walls to build. <laughs> I kind of treated the maps like an actual building, like an actual structure that you have to build something around it. <laughs> yeah, definitely going to need to delete that. All right, let's see what that did. Yeah, it's not bad. Most of it is still intact. It's now a proper map that now uses middle textures, except that's not normal. Yeah, you can see there's lots of buggy elements after I removed that lower wall. So this is basically what I'm going to be doing. You don't, you guys are not going to need to watch this at least in real time. Probably going to just time lapse it, but I'm going to be cleaning up all of this amateur stuff here. So here we go. <laughs>
So here I'm just using a texture that can stand out like a sore thumb to try and figure out which sectors are actually visible and which are actually hidden in the void. No point keeping these void sectors, like we can just delete them. Okay, now that I see where the border is, all of these sections are just not used, like at all. All of this. Uh, it seems like we have a phantom sector. See how this column here is affected as I put my mouse there, you see how it highlights? A phantom sector is actually a bug. That's how bad this map is. Yep, there it is. Okay, is it eff still affected? No, it isn't. Phantom sector is now gone. Well, it's still down here, but... <laughs> Yeah, I, that is so annoying. I highlight a whole bunch of sectors, I move the map, and it just phew, disappears. So I'm going to have to use the zoom thing again. I try to avoid using this uh, so that my viewers don't feel motion sickness, but I'm going to have to do this. I'm sorry, you guys, but I have no choice. So if you see here, I was really ambitious when it came to the lighting. Now this, in GZ Doom, if you just do a missing texture, even if it's only very shallow, it actually will hide whatever it is that's in here. But in a software render, we're going to actually have to exaggerate this like a lot so that you don't see it. Let's take a look and see how that looks. Wow, it's already not stuttering as much as it did before. It definitely is making a huge difference, that's for sure. Now, of course, I'm gonna replace these Doom Zero pentagrams with really nice looking candles. Not the default Doom candles, but like something from Hexen, where they have those really nice candles that have all that wax that's spilling on the sides and stuff. So this is just one room. It's just the intro room, but I hope this is going to help with performance a lot. It's still not perfect, but I'll just refine this when I'm not recording. All right. Well, till next time. <laughs>